Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are gonna try to match the snack or food item to the reason why it was banned in another country. Totally fine here in America though. Yeah, we're good with it. Hmm, prepare to be disturbed, schooled, and invited. You're invited. But first. In celebration of the Mythical Society's fourth anniversary, society members voted for the charity on the Wheel of Mythicality and the society will donate $1,000 to Black Women for Wellness to aid in their mission to be committed to the health and well-being of black women and girls through health education, empowerment, and advocacy. And you also can join us in giving at bwwla.org. bwwla.org. Okay, thank you for being your mythical best. Um, so let, let's, let's read through what these reasons could be associated with the things that they might be associated okay, with. Okay, so um, this seems pretty innocuous because so many things contain an ingredient associated with heart disease. So I would think that would be saturated fat probably or a certain, maybe trans fat, I don't know. But there's not really, there's not trans fat anymore in any American stuff either because isn't it banned here now? I think, I don't know. but I don't know. So this is a country where they're really, really laying down the law. Um, and so, Stevie, you know the countries, obviously. Yes. And then you're going to tell us. Can I you have tell more us? information. I'm going to give you so much information after I just, you make I, your I guesses. Kinda, but you don't want to tell us the, what country this is now. Um, a lot of these are multiple countries. Okay. Okay. So for that one in particular, there's a hearty list, I would say. Okay. All right, contains ingredients linked to inhibition of cell development. That's, that sounds more dangerous. That sounds like something happening is that on like, like a DNA level. Or is that like, don't eat this if you're pregnant? I would think that it's the cell development of you, the person who's eating the thing. That's, that's my guess. Okay. That's, that sounds troublesome. Do I, I didn't know that I still had cells that were developing. I thought, I'm, I mean, I know I'm regenerating cells, but I didn't know they were developing. I mean, well, how do you think, of, well, I mean, you're They're like, just replicating, but they're not developing. That's well, something that happens. Well, what do you think replication is? A new cell being made from another cell. Yeah, but I, but. That's but cell it's, development. No, cell development is like, oh, it's, it's diff cell differentiation. It's like um, creating a human from an embryo. No, I don't know. Well. Contained a flame retardant. So I guess at one point contained a flame retardant. And something was uh, banned because there was a legal dispute over registered trademark. Ooh, well the first thing that I know like is that- Like M&M's in another country. I could put out- Means something else. I could put already. out a uh, fire with either Mountain Dew or Lipton tea. Right. So that, so that would be a flame retardant. Uh, so water. Yeah, yeah, so it contains, it contains water. contains water. <laughs> we don't have that in, in, I'd hate to be in that country. Water is banned. Uh, Flame retard. Let's start with heart disease. So it's got to be Ritz, Ritz crackers, crackers, Reese's, or M and M's. Which one has the most saturated fat? Which, so this one has per 140 calories, three and a half grams of saturated fat. It only has it has less than five milligrams of cholesterol. What do you have over there? Um. Zero milligrams of cholesterol. How much saturated fat? 1.5 grams in an 80 calorie serving. So m and Five crackers. More. Um, mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa now, we got four and a half. Yeah, peanut butter, man. Yeah, but isn't that good fat? Oh, oh, no, it says trans fat zero. But, I mean, the versions that were outlawed might might have been a little bit different, you know? You're right. <clears throat> Are we looking too far into this? Are we trying too hard? Never been accused of that. Where would they ban Reese's? Speaking of trying reason? too hard, Lando told me that today is running day for him, so I, I'm just, I'm sending love and good thoughts and prayers. Is that something at school or is that a my, holiday? To my son Lando today uh, participating in running day. Like they're running the mile? Yeah. To time it? Yep, running mm -hmm. a mile, they're timing it. Yeah. 
And they have to do it a lot more than we had to do. Is that it. part of the presidential challenge you're still doing? No, no. Biden, he doesn't issue any physical challenges to anybody We're because he doesn't want to be a hypocrite. You know? You're right. He rides bikes. Does he? Yeah. Sidecar? He rode a bike at one point. Running. He day. did fall off of it. A lot of running. I think they do it every he month. Did, he did. He was riding it up until they the do point it every he fell month. off of it. And if you miss running day, you got to make it up. You got to run all by yourself in a circle. On, they, on the weekend? No, while everybody else is, do, is doing good stuff. Like Foursquare or something. I like that. I think there should be more punitive stuff like that. I like the fact that they yeah. have running day like every month, you know? You remember that time we ran a mile in a really tight circle in the, in the, the old, old studio? studio? <laughs> that was horrible. It was horrible. It really got to my left leg. I mean, it was like you're just running a circle in this amount of space. And it was like we had to switch directions because my my right knee going clockwise really started to hurt. I think this has got to be reasons, yeah, right? I agree with that. Cell development. This has got to be something that has got some weird stuff in it. Fruit Loops has like. Mm -hmm. Has like colorings to the loops. Good. Well, that's a really and good keep call. in mind, y'all, that you have more, you have more products than you have labels. Of course, of course, we're keeping oh, yeah, everything yeah, we, in mind. Yeah, we know these things. Oh. We're taking everything into account. But we right. know for a fact that Mountain Dew has uh, color too, but Fruit Loops has more color. So I think that probably makes more sense. Mm, Mountain Dew, yellow number five. But this has like probably red and yellow and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got red five. What's Amarillo? What color is that? Uh, well, it's in Texas. Amarillo five, azul one, that's blue one. Amarillo six. Oh, it also has a BHT. Yeah, this has gotta be it. It has put. Um, contained a flame retardant. If you couldn't I feel use like Ritz. Oh, you think you can put fryers out with the Ritz? Fryers. I don't know, maybe it's flammable. Does it say like caution it, flammable anywhere on this? I feel like it might be like ironic, like a sun chip. Why do they call them sun chips? Because they're, they're hot, so hot. You know, and it's like, well, actually, no. Why do they call them sun chips? They're not hot. You can throw them at the surface of the sun and they will just be unfazed because of that whole grain. Well, let's look at the ingredients. 100% whole grain. Oh, it's, it can't be this. These only have whole corn, sunflower, canola oil, whole wheat, brown rice flour, whole oat flour, sugar and salt. It can't be these. There's nothing in there to mm. to stop a flame. There's leavening ingredients in the Ritz. Like uh It's got to be something. Soda. It's got to be the another chemically thing. I think it's the Mountain Dew. I think it's the Mountain Dew. It contains a flame retardant. Well, this just have acylfame potassium. Uh, calcium disodium iota or EDTA. That thing's got yoda? Sodium polyphosphates. Got some yoda in it. You know, when you die, doing you just went... such a good job reading these ingredients, and I feel like you, you deserve um, like compliments. Uh, oh, because yes. Of it. You know what, Ren? I want to give you a compliment. And, and how did these compliments come about? Could you? They were written process? in English. They mm -hmm. were they were gone. They were translated into another language, mm -hmm. and then they were translated from that language back into English. Yeah. Fun. Red, I just want to tell you, well, Ryan, I just want to tell you. Yes. You are high and beefy. <laughs> Your face hairs are pretty. And you know good food around space. Well, thanks, man. That means a lot. High and beefy. Your face hairs are pretty, and you know good food around space. You want to know where what that was translated from, Ryan? Yes. Rhett. I can't believe they translated your name. Oh, that Ryan. happens quite a bit. Rhett, you're big and strong. I'm Ryan on my passport. Big and strong was high and beefy, with a very luscious beard. Your face hairs are pretty and a great knowledge of food around the world. You know good food around space. Yeah, just the space of the world. <laughs> uh, you're okay. welcome, your welcome will be appropriate at this point. <laughs> I or I said, guess thank you. I said thank you. <laughs> yeah, and now say you're welcome too. Are you talking to yourself again? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Every day, man. 
And it's getting worse. Every day? What do you mean every day? Every day what? Every day you're Link. No, <laughs> this is a particularly off day. Okay. Or maybe right. an on day. You're right, you're right. Uh, Gary. Gary? Yeah, I, that's weird. <laughs> Psych! Gary. It just says Link. So. Oh. <laughs> And because that's your name, I had to say something. Okay, else. okay, okay. That was good. Well, oh, that's a highlight of the more. You're welcome. Right there. You're welcome would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're welcome. Link, you have very voluminous, 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 voluminous lips, voluminous hair. Oh. Big glasses, sport. <laughs> And you always know how interesting you are. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh, okay, that was translated from... I always know how interesting I Link, you have very voluminous hair. How do you actually say that word? Voluminous. Voluminous. That's oh. why I'm saying it so fast, because I don't know. Gary. Mm, you're welcome. Voluminous hair. Great glasses game. And you always not know, according to everybody. And you know, and you always know how to make things interesting. You know, Link. Here's what I think about. I always know how to make things interesting. I, I think that you. you're if you're not you're make, high and beefy. If you're not making polarizing choices, you're not making good choices. That's my personal opinion on that. What, what? on your glasses? Oh, you know what I'm saying. Like uh, if you, everybody's over it, let's not bring up the no, glasses. No, but, but by this point, no one's talking about it anymore. But you just said it. You said not everybody. I know, but and it was I a just, little, like a little quip. Gary, come on, Gary. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to help you out here. I'm just saying that the fact that there is a contingent of people who don't like your glasses is proof that you made. A good decision, not the right decision. There's no I, right or wrong. I bring people to points of decision. You made a good decision. I'm like an evangelist. Yeah. I'm like a traveling evangelist. That's right. And, and what do you I go, say? What do you say, Link? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And finally, legal dispute over registered trademark. Ritz. Th no, this looks like it could be. Nobody wants Ritz. Trademark is a logo. Am I right? Kellogg's been around a while, I don't know, M&M's? M&M's, like two M's in another country. Someone had already scooped that up. I think you're on the right track. In an, in an English-speaking country, though. I think you're on the right track with it being misinterpreted somewhere else. It's not gonna be Lipton. It's not gonna be Mountain Dew, we like already M &Ms. know. M&M's. M&M's is a great guess. Ritz might, meet, uh, Ritz might mean something else in a different word. Like, what do you, when you're putting on the Ritz in France, what are you doing? Je devrais le commentage le Ritz, the Ritz, Ritz. And I could see exactly Sun Chips. I don't know Sun Chips. We're leaving these out. Doesn't seem like anybody. Would, We're leaving these out. It feels Sun Chips feels like if you violate this co copyright or trademark, no one cares. <laughs> then they'd be like, okay, whatever. But the fact that someone in another country had taken. That's a re more recent product, you know? So, and I bet Sun Chips didn't go global until, you know, in more recent times. And it's, since the sun is a, is a universal phenomenon. I can't own that. Okay, it seems like you... someone would have named some chips Sun Chips in another land. Yeah. So I'm voting for Sun Chips, not M&M's. Oh. No, don't. You know, you're right. Almost, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, M&M's was right, bro. Well, I was about to say, you've done surprisingly well, because you actually have three of the four correct. There's one thing that you chose that you both really like that thankfully is wrong. Yeah. Ritz goes here. Ritz goes so, here. Stevie, before you tell us the answer, allow us to promote the Mythical Society anniversary. Uh, we're still celebrating it. Um, uh, during the entire month of February, any purchase of third degree annual plan will receive your choice of a past 2022 quarterly item while supplies last. So if, if you missed out on something from last year, 
and you really want it, you want that record, you want that U2s, you want that, is it the blanket? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Um, or and the comic book. Uh, you can, now's your chance. Mythicalsociety.com, all right? You're welcome. Uh, I, do you have the stuff, these things over here for consumption? Because I just had an idea that as we're hearing whether or not we're right or wrong, that I, I want to, KG, like to try. KG can hook, it, hook uh, you up. You know what, just, just, just to bring a Ritz and a Reese's. <laughs> just a Ritz and a Reese's. I just looked at them, I got an idea. Maybe this has never been done before. Maybe this is a thing that people do all the time. Oh, no. Link, Gary, take a Ritz, set it on top of a Reese's and tell me that they don't look like they were made for each other. Oh my goodness. I just realized they were the same size. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll try that. Mm, look at that. You would think all I had was a Ritz, you know? You would think I had a Ritz until I walked past you, you and think turned I just had a Reese cut. Oh, he's got it. What does that guy have? And, and what does that guy have? A Reese cup with a Ritz. A Ritz topped Reese cup. We what, gotta come up with a name it? for it. A, Re a Ritz cup. No. A Ritzy's cup. A Ritz Reese. A Reese Ritz D. I like Ritz Ritzy's. Ritzy's cup. Sink it. Sink it. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Rat. This is better when better than when Justin Timberlake put a blueberry inside a raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's Remember like, that? It's like the decadent internet boy version. Can we go viral for this? Well we gotta come on. Y'all try to make it go viral. Better name. <laughs> better name. Look at that. Oh man. That's pretty good. A Reese's cup. And by pretty good, I mean jaw-droppingly good. Yeah, because it's like more butter and crisp on top of what was all, like just a sweet, savory thing that was already happening inside the, the Reese's it cup. It kind of gives it a Twix experience, you know? Turns a Reese's cup into, because it adds the, it, it's a cracker, not a cookie, but it gives it that crunch. Oh man, that was a... Thanks, son. That was an inspirational thing that just happened. Thanks, son. We, well, we better register that trademark. Yep. Would you like me to give you information now? Yes. Okay, so Ritz crackers, correct, banned in several European countries like Switzerland, Aus Austria, Hungary, Iceland, Norway, and Denmark for containing hydrogenated cottonseed oil, oh. a trans fat associated with cardiovascular diseases. FDA has actually deemed these types of oils to be not generally recognized as safe. <laughs> But I will say, in Ritz's defense, here on the nutrition facts, it says zero grams trans fat, and it does not say cottonseed oil on it. They, however, fixed, they fixed that. How, well, however, what? I know some things about uh, nutri nutritional facts, and you can, if it's under a certain amount, you can say zero. It's like, you remember the, the spray butter that was popular like, you know, 15 years ago? I guess some people still use it, but it was fake. And it was yeah. spray butter and it said zero calories. So people thought that they could just eat it. Well, it was zero calories because one spray didn't really register. But if you just took the whole thing and put it all over a piece of bread, it actually registered. So I don't know if that's the case with these or not. Yeah, it says certain loopholes allow them to continue to be used in products. Yes. Fruit Loops banned in Norway, France, Finland, and Austria for the artificial coloring, which has been linked to inhibition of cell development. Several other US cereals are banned through the Europe European Union and Japan for using preservatives that have carcinogenic properties. Did you figure out what cell development was? <laughs> no. It, I believe, uh, I 100% believe Link's definition of anything. So it's just uh, including embryonic cell development. cell development. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you don't have to believe me every time, but I'm not high and beefy, I will uh, say that. It's true. It's true. Um, Mountain Dew banned in the European Union and Japan because it contained Rominated vegetable oil, a flame retardant. BVO was removed from Mountain Dew in 2020, six years after PepsiCo actually announced they'd removed it. Ooh. Yikes. And M&M's banned by a judge from selling in Sweden because the M is too similar to the logo for Marabou, a brand that sells chocolate-covered peanuts. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, so it's the M. Yeah, because it's the logo. 
Um, so they just completely so it's not banned just an it. And it's the same thing. Well, it is, but if, once you kind of start really looking at the M, like it's not. No, it's the same product, milk chocolate coated peanuts. Yeah, but. Which is kind of crazy. No. That, I, no, I don't, I just, I, I think, I think this one is. M. It's one M, the no. M's a little bit different. It's not, they're not different colors. They don't have M's on them. Let's challenge this. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Though. Can we do that? Right yeah. after we go viral with our new creation, let's challenge this lawsuit. It's gonna be a busy day. <laughs> Join the Mythical Society as a third degree annual member and receive a past 2022 quarterly item while supplies last.